Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen? We are back with part two of our specific training uh, trilogy. And uh, right here, I'm just gonna start opening up the lapels. That's what I always try to do in the beginning of a match because I know I'm going to end up using those lapels at some point. So right here, I'm going to get the, uh, the, the lapels with both hands right here. I'm gonna push him just a little bit and then I'm going to pull him and sit to guard and start playing like a daily heave up position with my left leg and try to get a hook with my right leg. So right here, I'm just gonna end up actually getting both my legs around his knees I'm going to try to pull him and take him to the side, uh, but he's doing a good job of kind of stuffing uh, my left leg. But right here, I'm able to kind of get the sweep by pushing both of his knees together and uh, taking him over to one side. And right here, I'm able to get straight from the sweep into the mount position. So now I'm going to start working on making sure he can't uh, grip me on that mount, but he's able to roll me right back into the close guard position, which is fine because I like playing a lot of close guard. So um, again, we're doing the one minute drills on the minute, every minute, uh, the other uh, people that you see in the video are going to be walking in or coming in so it's kind of like shark tank or uh, bull in the middle or whatever you want to call it so right here um uh, now it's Jotha's turn. He's going to come in and he's going to start grabbing the lapels that were already open and uh, he sits to guard. And uh, now I want to stop him from playing that lapel sneaky game that he was playing in the uh, video you saw uh, before this one. So right here, I'm kind of making that elbow knee connection, trying to keep his uh, left foot out of out of uh, come from stopping from coming over. And right here, he's playing that lapel game. He was able to get that lapel, my lapel around his leg and start feeding it to his hands so right here I'm gonna start grabbing the lapel right away and kind of trying to strip his grip and stop him from getting that inversion that you saw in the first video and uh, I'm able to kind of do that but he's still able to get like a deep uh, lapel with like his left leg is now going for a daily heave so I'm just gonna grab the toes and stop them from making a home in my hip that's kind of what he wants but he's still able to kind of get it and start working his way to the back so right here I stuff the leg and turn into him and square up and right here I get right into my over under position uh, which is what I like to connect to uh, with all my escapes, all my passes, all center back to the over under. So right here, uh, I'm able to kind of step my leg over. I didn't really do the traditional type of over under. And uh, right here, I go straight back and I'm just going to keep going uh, until the time runs out. So that's the one minute. So right here, we're gonna sit. And uh, now we're going to transition into the white boat that you saw in the first video. And he's gonna be doing some Kung Fu, some Ip Man. Uh, I don't know what is going on here, <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to deal with any of that because he looks like uh, and, and I talked to him afterwards. He's like 195 pounds and he used to train a different type of martial art. So um, obviously there's a weight advantage here. He's obviously taller, stronger and bigger. So I don't really want to get into a, a, stand, a standing match with him as, uh, as much as possible. So right here, he kind of sits to guard and tries to pull me over and I'm able to kind of float above it, kind of cartwheel over it. Now I'm going to start pinning one leg and getting into the over under. Once again, this is just an over under clinic. It's something that I always like to do, always like to set up. And uh, if we're doing like one minute drills where it's like the end of a competition, uh, that's how I'm going to try to score my points. As you can see, I'm able to get the over under pass. And it was basically the exact same mirror of my 2022 um I'm sorry, 2022 International Masters uh, quarterfinals match. That's exactly the same way I passed his guard in that video in the competition. So I'm kind of just working on my competition game, making sure I can score the points when I need to. So here he's trying to work on the Kimura on my left arm, but right here he's able to kind of flip me, but I uh, am able to get back to my knees and stand straight up. And uh, I don't want him on top of me for obvious reasons. He outweighs me by like 50, 40, 40 pounds, 45 pounds maybe. So here he's trying to uh, kind of impose his will on me and I'm able to kind of just stiff arm, get uh, keep him off balance right here. And uh, he tries to go down, trying to uh, bait me to step forward to get a single. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, keep my hands on those lapels and keep him away from my feet. And when I get an opportunity, I'm going to get into the half guard position. So what I'm waiting for here, he's pushing me back and forth. What I'm waiting for is, uh, not waiting for, what I'm going for is trying to get that underhook with my right arm. As soon as I get it, I'm going to sit to the half guard. And what people don't actually know about my game is that I actually played a ton of half guard from white and blue and uh, middle, I guess, early purple. And um, I actually like it a lot. I just don't ever get to play it because everyone ends up pulling guard against me. So I'm, I have to, you know, focus on the guard passing so right here he's kind of able to square up and stand back up and what i'm going to do is now that my posture is kind of broken i'm just going to disengage and uh engage again so i don't really have to go for anything i've already scored the points with the over under and now i'm just going to hold him off for the end of the minute and that's kind of indicative of what happens in competition so uh i'm just keeping him at bay making sure he doesn't get the sweep and that is the end of the sparring session 